Welcome back guys to the channel. So today we're gonna finally load these joys up. So there's a few things that I wanna go over, over this. Uh, it's our first time, well not really our first time, first time in a while that we've done this right here. So I'm gonna explain a little bit about it. So over here, um, as you can see, we're using, we're working with Hambro, with Canem. Uh, these metal joists, uh, obviously like any other layout, especially at your trusses, it tells you like what's the space in between. So you can see it's four feet, inch and a quarter. Uh, some of them are three feet, 11 inches. Uh, the way how this works, uh, guys, is um, you put one of these metal joists, right? And then you have another flange that goes right along this this concrete beam right here and you start it with your telescope uh roll bar you put one you put it at four feet inch and three quarters i would say it's right here and then from there you keep on doing the same thing you just repeat you make sure you look at the tags making sure it's the right choice for this section now my problem with this was they have a video, they have an instruction on how to do it because, you know, they, the good thing about this company is that they do it for any kind of job, you know, it can be a new, uh, a single family home, uh, town home, uh, commercial, whatever, you know, you name it, right? Um, they have it either for steel, for concrete, for wood, and there was another one, I forgot what it was called, but they have that as well now the only thing i didn't i uh like i understand you have to anchor these it's like if you have um if you have trusses you anchor them with the the straps right you tie them down with the straps now these it's just a little different you're supposed to either fit steel you use steel screws and you bolt them down uh my thought was that if you're gonna do how you call it um if you're gonna do concrete, you use wedge anchors. Just like you would put a ledger on a concrete wall, you use, uh, how you call it, uh, wedge anchors. Now, it does say that it has to be in certain strength. All right, sorry about that. So, uh, as I was saying, actually, I went to go talk to them about um, the same thing that I had in mind that it, it just didn't make sense. Uh, and, on my end I'll probably show you guys it's a lot more better so if you guys see right here there's a shoe some of these have two holes in it and you put a quarter inch wedge anchor inside there and you anchor it to here on the video it showed that you put a nail it just has to meet a certain uh how you call it a strength on it and like for here if I go to my uh, material notes it says ASTM A325 Type 1 High Strength Bolts, Anchor Bolts. So it has to be, um, it has to be, it has to meet this requirement unless they say something else. Now, I'll show you guys what else I'm talking about. As you guys can see, right here, these are these uh, two holes right here. Uh, if it were steel, uh, you know, you just screw right through there and these were anchored to it. But since this is concrete, 
it, it has to have some kind of wedge anchor. I saw in a video they use screws and it went pop well, on a nail gun uh, for a tie beam. So I just want to go ahead and clarify that with uh, Canem. So that was like my only question for them that I couldn't really tell, but don't understand. Uh, but other than that, you guys, from here on, it should be easy. I've seen a few videos, and, I, and there's not that many videos out there that really explain how this really works. Yes, Canem has it, but I don't think it's very detailed, or maybe I'm not understanding it. So I, I you know, it's like a, you learn as you go. So anybody, anyone out there, if you ever do a job, don't be afraid of doing it. Go ahead and do it. Because you may be the only one in town doing it. Like I had got a, um, I got a, uh, how you call it, uh, a message from someone that does installation for Canem. Yeah, they say they can do it, but you know what? My guys are gonna do it. We want to learn how to do it. You know, cause sometimes we don't have work for them. Let's give them the work. So never be afraid of doing it, make your research. And I mean, the plans tell you how to do it. So what's the difference? Just read and do it. So, um, like I said, today we're gonna go ahead, place them up here. And then um, Monday, we'll be back out here because I know it's supposed to rain today. We have supposed to have lightning as well. So they're gonna just lift them up, place them where they're supposed to be, put these roll bars in there. <clears throat> Uh, at the spacing that it calls for in the layout and then uh, the following day we'll two days later we'll come back here and start anchoring them where it's supposed to go put in the plywood uh, the fill paper and pouring it so I'll bring you guys along all right guys so earlier ago you kind of ran into a problem not really it's just that you got to make sure you're looking at your plan uh, read it before <laughs> for anything um so like i had a question oh. right here um we were gonna start at first with the first truss in front of the garage you know it was telling me hey we only got one that is a j1a and it's showing that all of these right here are j1a's um i didn't obviously we have a whole bunch right here i'm not gonna memorize this whole thing so he told me yeah we checked everything we couldn't find no more j1a's but he was telling me that they're the same length. Yes, they're gonna be the same length from here to there. But what changes, I was when I, I mean, obviously me looking at it, you can tell the webs were different. But like I said, I hadn't came, I, I still didn't come back over here to look at my plan. Uh, so I told me, okay, just go ahead and put them. Maybe it's an error from Canon, but no, it's no error from Canon. Yes, there's only one J1A, so you can see right here. And then the rest are J2A, okay? So just make sure you guys are reading your plan. Uh, Go back if you're not sure, um, and if there is a problem, contact uh, the trust manufacturer, and um, just in case there's any errors on their behalf. But in our case, there isn't. Everything is fine. I already explained to him that you can read it right. It's just one J1A. So yeah, so far we have two trusses, uh, two joists up, <clears throat> the J1A and the J2A. So let's take you guys up real quick. So, so far, um, we're just about almost done here setting these metal joists. 
just that the um, crane had to back up a little bit and take a little small break. Like, as you guys can see, we got everything basically all the way down already up to here. We only put like two metal joists over in the master bedroom. And we still got to uh, adjust some of these, some of the rebar we have to cut and uh, cut them out, drill epoxy another one in there uh, just so these can fit perfectly fine. We still got to load up the plywood as well. These are going to use half inch plywood um, to set these. And we still got to put the telescopes inside of there as well. But they're already spaced out where they're supposed to be. That's why the guys went ahead and marked their location. And then from there, we just put the telescopes that are supposed to go and push up the uh, plywood up there. So, there yeah, guys, moving a little bit more faster. It's rock and roll, Sicilian. Now, I'm gonna get back to it and finish this thing up. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I might wanna do probably a two part video. So, we're probably gonna cut it up to where the, um, they finished basically putting all the metal joists up. And then we have another video just to not make this video too long. I don't wanna make videos long so that way I can have you guys paying attention to it and not actually leave. So, just make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, share it. I don't know. And I hope this is informative to you guys. I'll go back again and talk about the whole installation part. Uh, just make sure you watch the next video. I'll put a part two. We're probably going to call this uh, uh, installation Hambro D500 part one. Something like that. And do part two, three until we pour. And I'll go ahead and start explaining everything again. How we anchor these. I'll get up there as well. Do it. Because uh, typically I'm not here doing all the work my guys are doing the work but i already have the experience for it as well but it's not wrong getting up there putting on a hard hat and a hammer